In 1964, Robert Simon began developing the town he named Reston. He envisioned a suburban town that had the energy and lifestyle of an urban city. Public art was a significant component of his vision. Simon hired the Uruguayan-born artist Gonzalo Fonseca to create sculptures at the Lake Ann Village Center. He gave Fonseca one key guideline. Kids must be able to climb on it. One of the things that Fonseca dreamt up was a concrete boat. There were two kids seated in the boat hollering bloody murder. So I approached them and I said, what in the world is the matter? And one of the kids pointed out in the distance and said, sharks, sharks. Well, of course, that is, that is what it's all about. Stretching the imagination. Today, Fonseca's work is not only seen at the village center, where it's been enjoyed by children for nearly 50 years, but also in some surprisingly unusual spaces. But we were just blessed with having Fonseca. He fell in love with Reston, and these ideas are almost altogether his. Obviously, we didn't stop him. All it was costing us was concrete. Some of Fonseca's most enjoyable pieces are in the first underpass in Reston. If you look over there, you'll see a little window. Uh, I don't know what the stone is doing in it. Some mischievous kid put it there. But at any rate, the thing that's fun about it is there's a little ladder etched in the concrete to give Romeo a chance to get up there. A little bit of whimsy. I love them. <laughs> I just do love them.